Joker. Let's get a round up of all the action. We can speak to film critic Hannah Flint now. Hannah, good afternoon to you. Hiya. Um, so I like to pride myself. I've seen quite a lot of these films before the Oscars, so I know what everyone's talking about. Parasite, I've not got round to yesterday. What's so good about it? Oh, you must. It's wonderful. Um, it's just a very relatable tale about um, family and socioeconomic crisis, but depicted in a way that's quite dark and sophisticated in a way it's set predominantly in one house. We see the, uh, the Kim family who are quite poor and um, who managed to get themselves into the family of the Parks who are much richer and uh, managed to work for them and suddenly we see their kind of confidence grows and sees that actually it causes their decline towards the end. But I don't want to give any more away. You have to see it to, to witness the absolute brilliance of it and great night for Bong Hai uh, winning four awards. Yeah, incredible. I was just looking at them uh, after that was announced as Best Picture, and there's a wonderful little snippet going around on the internet of the director just at the back of the crowd when all the speeches are going on, just looking at this statuette, not quite believing it's happening. It was an incredible achievement, and a historic one as well. First foreign film uh, to win the Best Picture. Let's move on to the acting categories. Uh, Renee Zellweger, Brad Pitt winning, Joaquin Phoenix as well. It's like a, a, like a little trip back to the 90s almost. <laughs> totally. I mean, we, I think it was, we all knew this was going to happen. They, all four of the, uh, the acting uh, winners have all won it at previous awards, pretty much. Um, but, you know, it, it's quite nice. We saw some uh, Brad Pitt giving good, aw uh, giving a good award speeches. He's, I don't know who his scriptwriter is, but he's, he or she has been doing a phenomenal job, um, keeping it short and sweet. Joaquin obviously did a much longer one, um, a bit more political than his BAFTA speech, in fact. Um, we saw the vegan come out in him as he um, uh, talked about uh, maybe we should be spending as much time fighting for uh, justice for animals as much as we fight for uh, justice for the inequality amongst genders and races. Um, but he ended on a nice note with a quote from his brother, River Phoenix. Um, yeah, it was, it was an interesting one. Yeah, how political did the awards get? I noticed that the opening musical number uh, by the artist Janelle Monet, uh, she mentioned Oscars so white, and she also talked about the lack of women uh, in some of the major categories, like Best Director. So just how political were this year's awards? I mean, it was political, but you have to look at that opening speech, and, you know, we saw Chris Rock and Steve Martin also make jokes about the lack of women and uh, the lack of black nominees as well. And, you know, it's all, these jokes kind of get a bit old because... What is actually changing? You know, it's moving at such a glacial sp pace right now. I get that people want to show that we're, you know, the Oscars and the Academy is aware of it. But what's actually changing? It's all good doing a musical number. Um, but unless we actually see actual monumental change, you know, that's all it's going to be. It's going to be a punchline. Well, I know one critic I was reading online was saying, you know, if these actors have such a problem with it, perhaps they should just boycott the Oscars. But they're never going to do that, really, are they? Oh, I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, you know, it's good night. Get to wear a dress. You know, get to pick up a why not go down there? <laughs> yeah. Although I did notice there were lots of um, uh, uh, TV stars there. I think Black China was there and uh, some other such um, characters. So, I mean, I'm just very disappointed that, that Jennifer Lopez wasn't there as an Oscar nominee. Uh, I think she was robbed, to be honest. But <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> I mean, was it Hustler, the film she was in, and everybody said that she was being snubbed? Yeah, I am absolutely fuming that she wasn't nominated. And Hustlers in general, you know, Lorene Scafari did a phenomenal job. I mean, I'm very happy that Bong Joon-ho won Best Director. Um, but, you know, any number of uh, female directors could have been nominated in that category. Um, Alma Haral, Lulu Wang, Sila Sciamma, um, and Lorene Scafari. So, um, yeah, I would have liked to see Jennifer Lopez. And she would have worn an amazing dress. She always wears amazing dress. <laughs> Uh, yeah, she was a little bit preoccupied with the Super Bowl, though, wasn't she, over recent weeks? So uh, I doubt she's too disappointed. Um, Hannah Flynn, thank you very much for your contribution this afternoon. Really good to see you here on Sky News Talking All.